What's up guys? Thanks for coming back into the studio with me today. I'm DJ Contour and in this video we're going to show you how to properly beat grid your songs or loops. That way you don't have any issues with mixing or anything getting out of sync when you're trying to do a solid mix. In the previous video we went over how to properly set up your software preferences. That way you don't have issues with overloading CPU or dropping tracks on a deck and accidentally stopping. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend going back to see that. So click on the link that's going to be in the description of this video and that'll take you over to that one. That way you get all the crucial information you need before we get into actually mixing. But now that you know what we're going to be doing in this video, let's head down into the computer and let's get started. Okay guys, now that we're down into the actual computer view, let's open up another instance of Tractor. And once again, um, this is going to be the software that I will be using for the majority of my tutorials, uh, just because it's what I DJ on, unless we do something specific for a different brand or type of software. Um, so in here I want to show you the importance of beat gridding your songs so you can get a proper sync. Um, over here on this side, I've got a full drum loop that the top end is filtered out of just for the purposes of this video, so you can see. And then on this side, we have a hi-hat loop. On the kick drum loop, you can pretty visibly tell how well of a job Tractor did in beat gridding because all of the drum hits are nice and tight on the grid, where over here the drum hits are actually off, so it doesn't look like anything really lines up. Um, and the reason for that is because this is all full of kick drums, so the initial hit is really, really loud, so it instantly can find the first part of the track, where this one, it's all cymbals and i hats So when it tries to, it actually missed the first hit, which is actually really quiet, and it put it right in the beginning of the second one, which is not where we want to be. So if I play this for you, you will see that um, it doesn't sound very good. So here we've got this drum loop going, and then when it comes back around, I will play it at the initial load point that Tractor had placed, and you'll see that it'll be slightly off beat and it won't sound very good. So you can see that that doesn't sound pleasing at all, and it doesn't sound like anything's lining up one bit. So what we'll do is we'll put this one back, and then I will show you how to start from scratch. That way you can beat grid your own songs. Um, down in the deck view here, we are going to go through these little nodes. You're going to want to go down to the grid one. You can click on all three of these. The grid is specifically for moving the beat grid around so you get the load point exactly where you want it, or even cue points. Um, so what we're going to do is... To get rid of this, where the initial load marker is, you're going to come down to this trash can and just hit that. And now you'll see that the whole waveform has changed and it just looks haphazard. Um, and what that means is you can put the load marker wherever you want. So we know in this specific loop that we want it to start on the first symbol hit or the hi-hat hit. And then in order to place your own new load marker, you're going to go down to this little triangle flag and you'll click that. And now you can see that everything's just like the other hit. It's all nice and tight and everything lines up. So it looks like all the symbols are actually right on the grid where they're supposed to be. So I will show you this again and we will play this kick drum loop. And then when it comes through, I'll start the symbols and then you'll see the difference in how that sounds. So now that you can see, the loops are actually starting and stopping at the same time and the grids are lining up so every time there's a hit it sounds like it's supposed to be there instead of being a muddy mess and it's as simple as that that's all there really is um, to beat gridding your own songs where if you get into a full track it might be a little more difficult which it's usually not but some are compressed a little bit so the waveforms are really really tight um, so sometimes it just takes a little playing around to find the best load point for where that would start but overall it's pretty much as simple as that um, so that's all there really is to it and there you go guys it's as simple as deleting the factory analyzed load point and adjusting it to put in your own that way you know that your beats are always going to be in sync i hope this video was extremely informative that way you were able to learn what would happen if your songs were actually out of sync and see it visually that way you know how to go about it and what would happen if you didn't 
Um, other than that, we're all set for this one. So make sure you head down to the bottom, hit the like and the subscribe. That way you can see every time I post new videos for you. We've got a lot of new stuff coming, so make sure you hit those, and then we'll see you next time.